All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of our How To Planet Zoo series, my friends. Um, this is going to be a relatively quick episode, but this is something that lots of people have been asking me about, um, especially since I've started a new project in Tropical Wings. And I've been doing lots and lots of custom billboards, basically, in the new project. And lots of people have been asking in the comment section and on the Discord about the banners that I created um, and about like the info boards and stuff like that. And they, I've been asking questions basically how do you do it and because you know there's nothing that shape um and we want to know kind of like your ways around it and essentially all it is my friends is um jigsaws okay we're building we're kind of you know taking jigsaw pieces and piecing them together and i'm basically going to show you the whole thing i'm going to show you you know that i use photoshop i'm going to show you what i do on photoshop and then we'll you know put it into the game i'll show you how you can get it into the game in case you're uh new to custom billboards and you don't know how to get them in the game as well i'll show you where you need to save it and then we will piece it together but basically i just want to give you a kind of like general roundup of how i'm doing things on planet zoo where custom billboards are concerned and basically try to help some of the people in the community get the most out of them um, as well as the two examples you can see on your screen i am going to show you a few other examples that i've used around the zoo so that you know it's it's more stuff where you can get the most out of it especially if you're aiming for realism so my friends let's crack on shall we let's jump into today's um tutorial episode i guess you could call this one um so um, these are the two big things. These are the two big ones that people have been asking about. Um, this one in particular, the banners. Um, so I'll show you kind of like a finished article in case you're a brand new to the channel and you've never seen anything, uh, you know, any of my stuff before. But this is sort of a finished article. This is kind of like what we've been using. Uh, they're sort of like advertisements type, type banners. You know, we don't have anything in Planet Zoo really um, that you can that you can really put in your put in your zoos. But this is something you see a lot, especially in sort of a, you know your bigger zoos and stuff. And uh, I kind of thought that the billboards might be an excellent way to do it now obviously there isn't a billboard this shape so we have had to use more than one but obviously that's where some complications can come up because you need to be able to piece this image together um, so just so you can see exactly the pieces I've used um, and so you can get an idea of you know how I'm doing this um, the first piece that I've used is the new world banner post uh, and obviously we've then placed the new world banner post vertical on the top and that's what the banner uh, you know um, drapes down from basically the only the only small issue with this is obviously these do not fill the entire gap but I do think you kind of get away with it I don't really feel like you need to then what you need to create these banners is actually six one by one meter screens so I will click on it for you so the screen panel one meter by one meter and you need six and the reason you need six is obviously you have one uh, you have an image this side but when you flip reverse you have an image the other side as well and you need to basically um, fill that in because um, the screens uh, are just plain back so if you want it to be viewable from both sides you obviously need six screens so I will now just jump into Photoshop um, and essentially this is what I created so I don't know what tools people are using to create banners and things like that but you know if you're if you're if you're not like a graphic designer or you're not very good with things like Photoshop and that you can grab images like this on Google I'm sure if you jump into Google and you were to search you know zoo banners and stuff like that you can grab stuff but you just have to make sure that the dimensions are are right so you need to basically work it out and you need to be able to uh, cut it up so that then you can piece it together so the one by one meter um the one by one meter screens um are uh, 512 by 512 pixels that's basically what you need that's one screen so if you're doing three screens uh, it's it will obviously be 512 in width but it's 512 times three for your length and that's how you get this image here so if you are using Photoshop or you're using Canva or you're using anything like this then you can kind of follow a similar tip to the way that I'm doing it so what I will do is I will obviously get the right image size I will then create my image but to cut it up perfectly what I then do is I make three squares that are 512 by 512 because then you know each what's going to be on each screen right and then all you need to do from here is you just pick one at a time and if you're using Photoshop it's easy because you can just crop the same way I am you pull it up until you meet that piece there press enter then you get rid of that again and there's your first image uh, I'm going to show you what you do as well so we will save as um, save as PNG 
Um, it's in all of my files, which is not great. Um, I would rather have not shown you that. You go to Documents, then you go to Frontier Development, Planet Zoo, User Media, and you basically need to save it in here. So I'm just going to do this as a, as a banner. Uh, I'm going to put Banner Tut 1, because I'm not going to actually use this banner, but I wanted to do something unique for you guys. Uh, so we'll save that one. Um, and then you jump back in. Uh, and you do, and uh, you just need to, if you're using Photoshop, just uh, Control Alt Z, and it will take you back to where you were. And then you pick the next square, and you basically do the same thing. And you have to save all three images to the same place. We'll do that again. Um, I'll do it with you, just so you can basically get a feel for exactly what we're doing. Uh, we'll we'll do that again. Uh, banner Tut two. Um, you save, obviously it's in that file now because it was the last one I used. Control Alt Z, it takes me back, we get rid of that rectangle and then we do the last one uh, and then that will give us the three images we need to be able to create the banner. Um, we'll save that. And then once these are all saved and they're in the game, it is literally a case of piecing it together, like a little jigsaw basically. So we'll save that, press OK and that is that my friends so we can kind of get rid of photoshop now and jump back in to planet zoo so the next thing to do obviously is to add your images to the banner so you literally click on the banner um, it will say default uh, initially uh, go to the folder one and always refresh because it might they might not necessarily be in there straight away as you can see i've got loads in here so you'll stick banner one will obviously be the top the middle will then go banner two and then we go to the bottom one and that will be banner free press ok just make sure it's all lined up perfect which this is and there you go it really is as easy as that and that's how i make my banners like i've said if you're if you're not a whiz on things like photoshop and stuff like that it's really not a problem you can you can you know pick up free softwares like canva uh, that's a really good one you can have a mess about with that if you wish and there's there's some great other software as well or better still just go on google and save some images to your computer and see what you can come up with basically but yeah that's a essentially as easy as that ladies and gents it really really is easy to do the banners i'm just gonna i'm just gonna finish this one off uh i might as well while i'm here uh we'll get it all done so it's looking really nice um like i said you have to do the back as well uh otherwise it'll look a bit weird so there you go done and a dusted looks pretty good doesn't it and they do look really like i think they do look realistic as well obviously they're not going to flap about in the wind uh and stuff like that and the, the only thing that i would quite like uh in you know in my opinion is a piece of like string or something uh kind of holding the bottom but i tried rope and stuff and it just looked a bit weird so the, them draping like this is is really not a problem um and you know like uh, i've put them in the entrance of the zoo and i just i do really feel like they give the zoo something uh, i'm using the tropical wings file for this usually i would use the the uh the how-to file but i'm using the tropical wings one because there's there is some other stuff i want to show you the next thing that people have been asking about that's been really highly requested is that of the info uh panels uh, i will show you um one that we're using a finished one um and it looks a little something like this ladies and gentlemen um so like these are really cool these are like directional panels you can you know point towards animals you can point towards shops and stuff like that but the great thing about this is you can actually use these really really effectively not only can you create a custom image to put on there but you can actually associate these with habitats and with shops and so it's essentially it's like an advertisement and so it will pull your guests towards those items so it's a really good way to use the banners especially if you're trying to get more people to look at certain animals in and around your zoo so um i will show you what you need to do with this one so for my banner all i've all i've used is literally a few pieces of wood uh you'll see um i'll jump into it so you can see the east asian uh, painted timber narrow i've used two pieces of that because i've kind of left a gap in the middle uh, to make it look as though the, the this panel is going through the middle and then i've just used the um plank fin painted one meter uh, i've used two of them top and bottom and then i've just used the metal piece to make it look as though you know it's into the floor uh, and then obviously these little bits are the planet zoo bracket and you just kind of sink it in and you can get these really cool um you know nailed effect and stuff so that's that and what i've done again is i've used a four 
one by one meter panels. So you've got two on the front and two on the back. Now this is a little bit more complicated than what we've, what we've done there because you can't just use the same image. You've actually got to mirror the images on Photoshop or whatever you're doing. Or essentially, if you're going to be downloading something off of Google, uh, you know, if you're saving images online, what you'll need to do is you'll need to change, um, you know, if you're doing it like I am, for instance, where it isn't quite central, you'll need to change. Uh, one will be like normal, but the other one will be anti-clockwise. So literally all you'll do is you'll go to horizontal and you'll just reverse that horizontal axis and you'll be able to do it. Um, it probably makes a lot more sense to me than it does you, but it's just because of, the, of what I do for a living. Um, so yeah, that's all that is. So what we'll do is I'll show you basically how, uh, how this works. So I've got to remember what this is. I think it's just info. I think it's like info board. Is it info board one? Yes, so info board one at the top, and then we go info board two at the bottom. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I've gone past it, haven't I? Um, it's all in alphabetical order. You would think that um, I would be able to get it. So yeah, there you go. And essentially, you just the same as um, the same as these ones here. You've just got to line it all up uh, to to make it look pretty good. Um, you know, and uh, like I say, like it is slightly different because obviously this has had to be mirrored. And on the back as well of this, you would probably want like different information. Um, you know, the one we've got over there, obviously, it's towards the exit. The toilet is in in a different direction from the back to the to, to the front. Um, uh, so yeah, it, it is a, it's a little bit different. So you do have to change uh, the not not sorry not the different direction, but the arrow. If you were to mirror the image, you'd have to change the direction. Of the arrow is what I meant. So yeah, so you do have to. If you're going to create something like this, there is a bit more editing uh, where it's concerned. Let me show you basically what I mean using uh, Photoshop. This is obviously the tool that I use, and I do this exactly the same. We get those two those two squares so you get the perfect sizes both times uh, all you would need for this is obviously it's 512 in width again but it's um it's uh, 1024 in height uh, because obviously uh, it's going to be two squares in height so that's basically all it is uh, again i've just created this sort of image it'd be difficult for me to kind of show you how this is all uh, happening if anybody would like it like if there's anybody out there that uses photoshop and they would like a tutorial on how to make stuff like this for planet zoo feel free to let me know in the comment section below and if enough people ask i will be more than happy um i am um, like a graphic designer so i would be more than happy to give you a tutorial on how to create things like this that you can use uh, you know in planet zoo um you know I, I do i really do think that they add something to the game now um, so yeah, I created this image and again, you just save it the same way I did before and then it goes into the game basically. As you can see, there is quite a bit more going on here um, because there's a lot more sort of uh, information on this board, but essentially it works the same way. What I was basically saying though is this would be in one direction. Um, I don't know if it will let me open it from here. It probably won't. Um, but what you'd need to do is, so this, say this is the front, for instance. If you want to create the back, this welcome with the um, with the otter needs to be this side, and this square with all the info needs to be this side. That's basically the point I was making, and that's kind of how it works. So let's jump back in and let me show you what I mean about making the most of the boards uh, and using the sort of advertisement tool to get these to actually um, be interactive basically. So what you would do here is um, obviously you click on the board and then you will see this little tool here, select advertisement. Now it's already done it here because, I, because I've already done it. But what you do, because I look at this and I think, right, so we've got flamingo and we've got toilets. You can't advertise the toilets, there's really no need anyway. Um, so you would just click select advertisement type and then you would just go and find what it is that you want to advertise. So you would go over here and you would click the door. Uh, obviously it's already advertising, but if we click the door, you'll see, look, then the habitat goes goes on there um, and that's it really is as simple as that you press accept and then you go down the bottom and you say gift shop and flamingo flavors so we've got a gift shop over here flamingo flavors in here and you basically do the same thing you would uh, you just press select advert um, this obviously has done free because there's two items inside the gift shop uh, and you you highlight them all so then these become interactive boards and they actually push people towards things which i think is really really clever and it makes these a worthwhile tool to have um, you know in your zoo um, so yeah i hope that's helped ladies and gents i hope that's like i know that's like a pretty quick like tutorial i know it's a pretty quick way for me to show you but it is pretty basic 
especially these banners, I think I think people were assuming they were a lot more complicated than they actually are. The only complicated part about it is making sure that each image um, is perfect 512 by 512 and then you line them up uh, you know the, the boards have to be lined up perfectly um, that's the only like that's the only thing really that's the only difficult part is making sure that you know you piece them all together uh, properly before we leave there was some other bits and bobs that people were asking about obviously last episode of tropical wings i revealed the flamingo habitat i'll link it above in case you're new and you've and you've not, never seen this series and you've not seen that episode so feel free to go and check that out but i did custom um you know habitat boards basically and uh, I like this because um, we've got so much more free rain now um, but they, the, the, the trouble with it is though is they don't actually work like education boards they work as advertisement boards so there is a trick to it to make it educational and an advertisement for said exhibit and so on and so on um, and also I'm going to show you some other stuff that I've done like little ideas that I could basically throw your way uh, for you to kind of add stuff to your zoo as well so all I've done here it's very different I've not done the one by one meter boards instead we're going with the TV screens the one meter 190 uh, and essentially these are an advertisement hoarding again because they are a custom board now as, again I'm not going to show you the Photoshop stuff but all I've done here is I've gone into Photoshop and I've created this to the size of the image that it says you should if you need to find out which size your image needs to be it will tell you in the game so all you would need to go is uh, example wide small click on that and it tells you the side um, and then you can go and create your image what I will say though is that if you want it to um, be able to be viewable this way up uh, you do need to um, you need to make the image make the image th this way up so you make it um, horizontal but when you save it in the game it needs to be saved as landscape otherwise it doesn't work just a just a tip there so basically create your image save it and then do that same size image landscape take it in rotate it to the side save and then that's how it will work basically um if you need me to show that as well if i ever do the the uh the photoshop tutorial i'll be happy to throw that in there but again you make your you make your custom image you add it and then again you can just do this select advertisement stuff uh and you link it to the habitat or you link it to whatever it is that you're going with these smaller ones i have simply just linked to the habitat and then if you're like me and you're into realism you can really use these boards to your advantage um, to make stuff like staff only signs and cctv in operation and all this sort of stuff and all i've done here again is i've used that tv screen one meter um, and i've just made the image um you know if you if, uh, if i show you again um this would be uh the example that you'd want here is obviously the tv small i've just shown you so you can find out the size and then you just make it to that size save it in the game the same way i showed you how to save the banner and then hey presto you have got these images and so obviously you've got the staff only one here um you've got you've got the one over here that i did uh which was like um which was like north service gate uh with all this sort of custom information on it and really the sky is the limit to customize uh, to customization now inside planet zoo uh over here i've used uh one meter uh screens and i've just basically put the logo on it uh this here is two one meter screens and rather than it be the other way up i've kind of put it this way and so i've done the same thing but we've just made the image in landscape rather than um rather than uh horizontal basically um so then you come inside here and there's loads of other stuff again one meter screens and i've done stuff like opening hours i've done uh you know show times uh i've done ticket prices um these are yeah one meter by one meter panels they, they're slowly becoming one of my favorite the one meter by one meter panels because they're small enough to do information on their own but if you combine them you can make some fantastic images um and then we come over this way i've used the bigger board here i think yeah two meters by two meters this one uh and this is just kind of like the zoo support um if we come around this way you'll see we've got like adopt an animal we've got uh you know the the times but the shows again and another really really top tip as well this is one that i absolutely love is that you can make some really really cool sign postage all this is to create this is it's two one by one meter um screens they're obviously rotated so into a point and then i've just used the um posts that were in the australia um 
a DLC. The painted metal rod, uh, fin two meter is what I use because I think believe that's the smallest one. Uh, and then you can, oh sorry, the one meter is the smallest one. I use two meters for the legs because it just needs to be a bit longer. And you can just really make lots and lots of custom items using all of the uh, all of this stuff. If we go over here, I believe I created something else. Yeah, this is uh, eventually this is going to be a, uh, a signpost. Um, you know about. Um, about adoption and stuff like that and then again as well this is a this is a cool one that maybe i should have uh designed but this is a, a few um i think it's four yeah it's four screens and essentially we just cut that image into four and then we pieced it on and we ended up with this mural and this artwork on the side of the gift shop and we've got the same over on the ticket office but it really is as easy as that i hope that this how-to and i hope that this tutorial has helped you ladies and gents um do let me know in the comment section below if it is helpful and if there is anything else that you'd like me to do a tutorial on if there's anything else that you'd like me to show you you know some hot top tips and things like that feel free to let me know in the comment section because i'd be more than happy to help um i know that this game is not the easiest at times and sometimes you've just got to think outside the box to kind of get to where you want to get to with it i am one of those people that just is constantly testing the limits of planet zoo without having to heavily mod it so um you know feel free to ask in that comment section and where these are concerned as well don't feel like you've just got to stop at free you could do smaller banners you could do larger you know you're four or five deep and then they, they they virtually touch the floor but you can still make bigger ones so yeah it really is up to you uh, and it you know the sky's the limit just test your creativity basically my friends i am done and dusted hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it but my friends until next time have an amazing day stay safe stay humble and i'll see you on the next one